joining me for our Creative Mojo White Christmas tutorial today. My name's Sandra and I'm here today to go through a few ideas and hopefully give you a bit of inspiration um, for our um, White Christmas tutorial. So we're going to be working on our snowflakes today. So you would have received a lovely pack of snowflakes from one of our Creative Mojo representatives. And the idea we're trying to make art as accessible as possible to everybody in care homes this Christmas. And I've tried to collect up lots of different items that I feel you'll, you'll probably find in your care home. So it's, it's an easy, quick fix solution. And it's also about, you know, how you can be creative using so many different things. You don't have to buy fancy brushes. Um, you know, we will be using a brush, but there are so many other ways to be creative um, as well. So I've got all sorts of items. I've got sponges today, string rollers, things we can print with, leaves, all sorts of things. So we're going to have a go and see what we can create today. So I'm going to start with one of our snowflakes here. And I think that we're, we're going to go for something a bit abstract I think to start with so what what you might like to do is just put a few out on the table for your residents give everyone a pencil we're not going to worry about rulers and things like that you, you may have um, a resident who who actually might enjoy using a ruler absolutely you you go for it you, you know if you don't have a ruler even a bit of a cardboard box would also do the same thing so whatever you've got to hand um, so I think what, so what I'm going to start by doing here is we're just looking at joining up shapes here um, and just whatever feels right for you, uh, just go for it. Um, so we're just, we're kind of making shapes within a shape here really. Um, and we're just, as you can see now, we're just creating different forms here. Um, so I'm just taking sort of one little notch to another um, and just going to sort of each point, create, creating different spaces. And that's a nice, you know, you may have a resident that doesn't want to get messy, um, who perhaps likes using pencils. Um, so there we go. So I've done a few, you know, do as many as you feel. Um, I think I should put one there because I've done all the others and I'll just go like that. So there you go. So we've got a nice, lots of nice abstract shapes there. And then you may wish to just add a bit of colour to each of these areas. You can use, um, you know, anything you've got to hand. I've got some crayons here. Um, again, you know, you can, you don't have to buy, you know, anything, you don't have to use oil pastels you can use whatever you've got to hand the idea is is that we're able to create um, and you know some of your it depends if your residents find it easy or not to use um, the wax because you do need to push down quite a bit on here um, and it might be easier to just lay the whole crayon flat as well. Um, let's see what else we got. You can sort of do different areas or overlap and mix your colours. So we've started and I quite like going over the edges here. You're giving it a nice, but again, you've got to press the burn and that might be challenging for some of your residents. There we go. I'm trying to work quick here, but obviously there's no rush. And you may want to go over some of your, your pencil lines there and get that shape in there. And you know, a simple, just a simple idea like that, you could spend quite a bit of time on. Um, 
for those of us that like a bit of detail, you could, you know, get get quite lost in just constructing um, this snowflake. And again, you know, I know it's a snowflake, but it doesn't mean it's got to be whites and blues. It's all about what your resident wants to do. Um, I've got a wooden knife here. I'm just going to see if I can scratch off bits of it as well. And you know, you do have, uh, you're probably fine that you may have some residents that might actually enjoy this motion here, just simply neatening and keep, you know, keeping their hands busy as well. Um, now, so that's our abstract art piece there. Now we can go further with this. Um, as well you might want to add some paint actually now I think if well, I've got my bit of cardboard here I might use this one and what color I think this is a bit smaller and again you know these are materials you have um, you know anywhere you go and that's creating a lovely print there um, so I'm just going to, again, it's quite abstract and it's about whatever feels right for you. There is no right, right or wrong and it's great to encourage that. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to add a bit of white, I think, here as well. Sorry, I'm just going to bring that a bit lower. I don't know if you could see that. So, and it's great. It's great to experiment, and I, I just feel like I need to twist it now a little bit as well. And just give these little. And of course, anything like that, I feel like I need to take a print off, to be honest. I'm going to take another shape. I'm just going to drop that on. I'm just going to go over that. There we go. So let's peel that off. There you go. So you've got two snowflakes there. Now, it's also nice. I'm just going to blot it a little bit because I'm just going to, doesn't really matter on that one. We'll probably add to it if we get a bit more. Okay, so we've got two snowflakes now. Now remember this is for a window display. Um, and the, I'll show you the, the probably the best way to hang them in a minute. Um, so it's nice to, to mould your snowflakes as well, um, which works nicely when it's wet and you know don't be afraid to work with the paint while it's wet um, why not it's you know it's absolutely fine um, I think at school you're always taught to, to let everything dry um, I'm way too impatient for that so we're just gonna mold our snowflakes like that so I think so we've got two there I think I think we can leave those as they are now, you may, I don't know how you're going to do your display. You may wish to blue tack these onto your windows. Um, or alternatively, you can just hole punch and hang them um, with a bit of screw. And I'm sure you'll find a hole punch somewhere in the office. I'm just going to try and get that in there. There you go. And just a bit of string. Really, and you, you want them at different lengths, I think, um, to hang, which will be nice. So I've got one there. Let's just get one here. And do one here. You could 
do both sides um, or even stick two together after you've got all your, your snowflakes done. So there you go, so you've got a couple there ready to go. So I will hang these up later and then we can see the display. Right, okay, so we're going to try a different idea now. So again, I started with one of our large snowflakes. And I think, what are we going to do? I think I'm going to get a brush out this time. Um, and let's have a go. So I've got a bit of this from my craft shop um, you may have some of the this sort of well do you know what you could use which you'll find in a, in a care home quite a lot of the time are your doilies that you use um you know to put under the dinner plates and things like that um let's do a bit of pink as well so if you put your doily on your shape like this and you know you can secure it if that's easier um, for your resident, let's pop that down. I think that will do. And then that one's a bit watery, but you just want it. You want to use a thick paint. I shouldn't have picked that one up because I watered that one down a bit. Let's get a thicker paint. Um, there we go. So you just, and again, this is a, a great action to do. Um, you could use a sponge as well if you like. And you want to mix your colours and get lots of nice tones in there. And I think your residents will quite enjoy that. I, I do see this movement quite a bit in my care homes. It's that, I think it's the sound of the tapping and the busyness of your hands that people really do seem to enjoy. So I'll just peel that one off. Um, and you know what? We can also print the the other side of that here. So I'm just I haven't finished with that one, but I'm just gonna take that as well. Don't want to waste anything. And I think best things always happen by accident as well. So there we go. I'm just gonna block that one there. Okay. Just gonna come back to this one. I think I want to go the other way now. I'm going to secure that down. And you know, I think this works particularly well with a doily because you'll have finer uh, details in there. I might go with a bit of red. Let's go across here. And I'm going to pick it up again. And go here. Give it a nice coverage like that. And again, you know, it's all about each individual's creativity, whatever colours your residents enjoy, whatever medium they like to use, you just want to go with it. There we go. Now, I think I'm just going to print that over the top of the one we did earlier. Let's just go there. Let's just go there. Okay, there we go. So another two more lovely snowflakes. Um, I think we should do something with this now. I wonder if we should overlap it or make it more 3D. Um, Tempted to just, and again, this is it's nice to just play with your shape and and mould it and create something a bit more. I'm going to use tape, but you can use probably a bit less. So, um, if you've got PVA glue there, that would do the job. Let's just put a bit of tape there. And again, I'm just pinching these edges and bringing these back through there. Could even go slightly at an angle. So there you go, we've got a completely different look there. And then 
there's another snowflake for you. There we go, and that one's where it's. So I'm gonna this time. I'm just because they're not heavy for speediness. I'm just gonna add a bit of tape. Okay, because they're not they're not heavy. So there you go. So we've got another one ready for hanging there. Okay, so still on the theme of printing. I've actually also. Um, Cut out. These are basically the from the stencils that these our snowflakes are punched out of. Basically, so I've kept these. So these are great to use, and again, it's all about recycling. You know, we don't want to throw these away. Um, you know, you might just want to give it a little, little trim there. Okay, so I'm gonna. Well, we could even use those, can't we? So now I think. Well, let's do a little bit of brush work this time. Now, I do, I do like a big paintbrush, um, and even these kind of dry paintbrushes—they're um, quite good for just getting some, some nice texture on there. This looks very snowflakey, doesn't it? Um, so we're just dragging it from the edges there. Okay. Now I'm going to bring in a bit of white now as well. And again, do you know? Do what feels right. Maybe we should go from the inside out now to get the edge there. And um, you know, it's nice to for your residents to choose. And I think you know. Pop a few colours there, you know, and see what, you know, what they're drawn to. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit of yellow in there. I don't want too much, I was it's all been... You know, what I should have done there is probably, I should have just put another snowflake underneath it. <laughs> Shall do now. Um, and again, it's these accidents that always turn out to be um, the best bit, really. So I'm just going to give that a bit of get some nice colours there. Right, there we go. And it's knowing when to stop as well, isn't it? <laughs> there we go. Right. So we've got two snowflakes there. I quite like that one, just as it is really to hang. Um, you could connect the two together. Um, if we add a bit of a staple there, again, because, you know, that's something you'll have lying around, I'm sure. Um, and the thing is, you know, you want to think about where you're going to put it. There's a point here, so I think that's probably a good place to go. So we've got two together there and these bits that we cut off earlier, you know, perhaps they're a bit icicle like, you know, why waste them? Um, a bit of paint on them. There we go. Right, and then I'm going to, again, think about where you're going to put them, what works best. I kind of think I'm going to go there. I mean, it's crying out for a bit of glue, but we're going to go out, go with a staple. And I think we're going to put this one along the bottom here. I'm going to go there. Okay. So let's get a bit of string on there. And we have another one ready to hang. So before you know it, you're going to have a cracking display. Right, there we go. I'm not going to give that. I'll show you. So I'm just going to give that a trim. And we have another one there. Now, 
you, you saw me painting with my hands there. I mean, I see this a lot in care homes. Um, and I, I love it. I love it when people paint with their hands. Um, that's something I I do more of now um, since working in care homes because it's, it's just, you, you've got so much control over what you're doing just by using your hands, you know. It's, especially when it comes to mixing colour. Um, and you may have residents that don't like getting messy. Um, that's fine. Obviously, this is not for them. But some residents will love the feel of paint on their hands. And, do you know, I, I find that sometimes that's the best artwork are the people that do, do use their hands um, produce amazing results. Um, because you can just, you know, go for it. Use as many colours as you like. It's, it's very freeing. I recommend that you all try it. Um, you all get messy um, and have a go. So I've got some nice base colour there, I think, you know. And I think we could we should do a bit of printing there. So you may you may actually have a resident in your care home that loves this and they will get through millions of, <laughs> of these shapes by just spreading colour everywhere. Um, but what you can do now is from this step, take it to another resident who perhaps wants to do something a little bit more delicate. And we could take a leaf, for example, so you could have one of your residents painting a leaf. I'm going to go with green with a brush, all nice and delicate. And then the two pieces are combined. Now again, because you're printing, you wanna you wanna get a bit of paint on here. And the first print is never never great, but you wanna just keep. And um, I mean that's great when you have somebody who's happy to pop lots of lovely background colour on, and then you can take a bit of detail to it. Um, so I'm going to paint a bit of white on there as well. So white's nice, isn't it? Just pop in a bit of white. I'm going to put a bit on here as well. Okay. And also let's take a bit of dark as well. And again, use the same leaf because you're just building up colour and tone. And you're getting some lovely effects there. And again, it's all about having fun. Just go for the, you know, whatever you want to do. I'm only here to give you some ideas. You can paint with whatever you can find. That's absolutely fine. Um, so we've got two more there. And again, you may want to just mould your edges because the shape, the shapes will curl anyway. But let's make them curl the way we want them to go. I'm just giving it a bit of, so I'm just going to put a bit of tape on the back of these. Um, I'm just, oops. I've just got a bit of wool here, you might have this. I'm sure somebody in the care home has a bit of wool that you can borrow. There we go. Okay, so you've got two more there. We're flying through them. So again, it's nice just to go out in your garden and bring some of these things in for the residents to um, use. I'm sure they'll really enjoy that. Um, so let's take a few more of these. And I think this time, I might actually just tape a few together at this stage. I'll just use the stapler. Or do you remind me of those um, stickle bricks you used to get? Are they called stickle bricks? That you used to connect together at school. Probably still have them now. Um, there you go. So we've got a nice row of them there. 
Oh, I think I think it needs a sponge or a roller or something like that for this. So, or both. Right. So I love a roller. You know, I'm sure you'll find one somewhere. Um, so you get a bit of colour on. And this is, you know, great fun. I'm sure your residents will love painting with a roller. Um, and then I'm just going to give it a, a roll. And again, the motion of this, I think you'll find, will go down quite well with your residents. Okay. Now I might actually add a bit of white in there as well. Right, so we've got a nice base colour on there. I think we need to add a bit of texture. So perhaps we should create a pattern. Now I collect all sorts, well, I don't collect them, but I do every time I see a nice, um, see these sort of things are good for marking in detail, you know, on whatever you're painting um, with your residents. You know, it's anybody will find it hard to achieve a circle, but if you've got something that will print a circle, it makes life a lot easier. Um, and then eliminates that frustration um, people may have. So I think I'm going to go in with the green. And we're going to, oh, this is a bit wonky, yeah. And just print these. Got more paint on there. It's nice to overlap it as well. Again, this sort of thing will create lovely bubbles. If you're doing an under the sea or something like that. Again, it's all very experimental and it's just about trying new things. Um, you know, you can use a light colour, use a dark as well. Okay. And if you think there's too much of something, you know, you can use your sponge, can't you, to blot a bit of that off. I kind of feel like they're all the same there. I kind of feel like we need one that's slightly darker than the others. So I'm just going to add a bit of dark there. And maybe even on the tips of it. Or like we did earlier with your brush, just drag in a bit of darker colour on there. Okay. Oh, I thought that one's. Good to go. So we've got another snow failure. I'm gonna I'll hole punch this one this time. Oh missed. There we go, a bit of string. We'll keep these different lengths. Right. Let's pop that in there. Okay. And again, you know, work as a team, you may find um, one of your residents might enjoy this bit, put in the wool. So what you could do is you can buy some chunky um, plastic needles and you can have a, a designated person to thread you know anyone who does not want to paint can do the threading
now we're gonna try, um, I'm gonna use some watercolor now. Um, oh, I've got some water here and some brushes. So I've picked up this watercolor paint now. So earlier we were using poster paints. Um, so I've got a watercolor pad here. Now it's, I, I find it's a lot of my care homes I've worked in. A big brush and using, um, I mean, give it all a nice soak of water first. Um, and then I'm using a big brush, but I'm kind of going over quite a few colors here um, to get some nice texture on there. Um, and there you go, so you're going to get some nice tones, which are great for snowflakes. And because it's quite wet, I'm sure you'll find a bit of salt somewhere. So I've got a bit of salt, I'm going to put a little bit of salt on top, which is just going to bleach out the colour. Um, if I, I'm going to do quite a dark bit over here, so that I, you can definitely see that afterwards. Just going to put a little bit there. And we're going to let that dry and then I will show you that one in a bit when it's dried. So I'm just going to put that to the side. I'm also going to do another watercolour snowflake here. Right, I'm going to take what colour we're going to go with. Let's go for a nice deep blue here. So I'm just going to give it a nice colour over. So it's all about achieving different textures and creating a nice and interesting display. Get some more pigment on there. Right. So I'm just going to use a bit of cling film here. Scrunch it up again. Again, it's a nice tactile one to go with, and you get some lovely results with watercolour and pin film. Just a bit more of that, just to get on these edges. Right, that will create a really nice, icy snowflake. So I'm going to let that dry and we'll come back to that one in a bit. So we'll move that out of the way there. Okay, so next you can do a um, like a wax resist as well. So again, you may have a resident who might like to do a bit of drawing on your snowflakes. So I'm just going to go across there a bit. I think the more, the more detail you put on the better for this. And again, you can use different colour um, crayons or you could use, you know, you could do this with a candle um, to get this effect. So I'm just going to go all the way down there. And then you want to get your, and obviously I keep making my colours dirty. Right, so I'm going to get another brush this time. I will go for a dark blue, I think, because that will show up for the yellow bit. I want to keep this quite wet. Um, and you could, you know, you could go over this with the salt as well, if you like. So I'm just going to go over there. No. You know, it's nice to have all these, it just goes to show how much you can actually do um, by just trying a different technique. And it's all about finding the right way for your resident to express their ideas. And I think, again, it's about putting these options on the table, um, which is what Creative Mojo is about. You know, we are about you know, finding out 
how best to get ideas and that and the communication um, from your residents. Um, and, and that's, I think, our strength, strengths, and that's what we're really good at. Um, finding all the positives, um, you know, of what, of, of people's talents through art, really. Um, and that's what we love to do. And to, you know, to see how, how much that really does affect people to be able to communicate through art. I mean, it's a wonderful thing to see. And I think, again, it's about putting the opportunity there. Um, and it, that will lead to wonderful things. Um, so there we go, we've got that one. So I think I'll put a bit of tape on the back. There's my string, keep this one long. There we go. Okay. Oops. And there's another, and actually it's got a nice effect on there because it's got a little bit of there we go. So we got another snowflake there to to pop up. Now um, nothing, you know, even this area here, it's nice to have a few white snowflakes. So if you've got a few spare shapes and particularly the offcuts, which we like to use because it's all about recycling and it adds to your display. So please use these. And, you know, you're getting that subtle white snowflake there. And you could do this to the backs of all of them actually, which would be quite nice as well. So you could do a few of those as well to, to make up your display. Don't want that string there. Let's pop that there. Okay. And again, you know, it, it's finding out what your residents want to do. And this this could be great for some of your residents, just purely having this lovely background here. The mess that I've been making. Um, you know, let's pop a couple of colours on here. Not too much, and probably more white than anything. I'm just going to give it a little mix with my sponge. And then we're going to take a few of these snowflakes. And that's just doing a few prints. Um, there we go. And again, this, this kind of movement, again, is something your residents might actually enjoy. You know, I'm sure it brings back memories of doing all sorts of things. Uh, cooking or cleaning or, you know, all sorts of activities that we naturally uh, do. I'm just going to use a bit of that as well. Okay. So there's a few more there, and these I would be inclined to mould. I'm going to do the end, edges of this one. But this one, I think I'm going to just, I'm not sure you can see, but I'm going to fold this one. Hmm. A few times there. I might, I might go again actually, so it's all, all the points like that. I need to do that way now. Okay, and then I think that gives you a little, you could sort of pinch them in. Like that. that gives it a nice shape. So you've got a couple there. And this one, I mean, you can chop a bit out. I mean, you may, you know, you may want to do this. Um, with some scissors, you could cut, you know, a shape in here, like we all we used to at school. Again, you know, obviously be careful with your scissors. And again, these bits, don't waste them. We will need some PVA in a minute. And I'll mess 
messy already, so I'll just use my hands. Doesn't matter. I'll just add them in to your snowflakes. Wherever you feel they should go. Right, so and then we have another interesting. So you you'll find they're all, all going to be so different, um, which is fantastic. And I, you know, obviously I've got here your traditional, more traditional snowflakes, um, which we used to do at school. I've cut the center out of that one. Um, again, you can pop a bit of paint on these, chop into them. Um, chalks as well. You might like to use. I keep reaching for blues, but you want to get lots of different colours. I quite like chalks actually. Um, it's a nice one to use, but it's messy, so it may not suit your residents. Um, if they don't want to get messy. And there we go, so we've got a few more there. Right, what else? So, oh, now we're going to have a go at doing, so we tried lots of different techniques there, but I think we need to do a bit of collage. Tissue paper is great to use um, on your snowflakes. I'm going to take a nice large snowflake here, a clean brush, a bit of glue, and not that brush. Um, Again, this is something you could do first, you know, for your resident, is pop the glue on. Um, it's a starting point. There we go. Right, so I've got all sorts of different bits of tissue paper here. And you know, you could you you can use tissue paper, you can use all sorts of things, bits of newspaper. What have I mean newspaper probably work lovely on your snowflakes. Um, I think that would be a great thing to do. And you may, you know, you might have clients that like the feeling of just rolling these up. Um, I mean, all sorts of things you could you could use if you've got decorative tissue in your care home. You know, with nice patterns on. You can use that, but this, you know, this in itself is a nice activity to do, and it does really focus the mind. You can spend quite a bit of time um, doing that. Some nice white tissue paper would work well. So you could do you could do that cover that all in um, tissue paper. Just pop a bit more here on my just to put it in a little bit more. Another nice way to use tissue paper actually um, with water. So we'll just leave that one there and we'll add that one into our display. And if you just get use a clean brush. And I'm just going to cover this in water all over. And then you just get your tissue paper and the colours will, my hands are dirty, right, and the colours will just, will bleed out of the tissue paper. There we go, so I'm just going to put quite a bit of water. And it gives it a really nice effect, actually. Um, so, you know, each one of these ideas is, is a different project to try. Um, our snowflakes. So, we provide a kit for every project uh, that comes with ideas and techniques because we are there to save you time, uh, to inspire you. And, you know, it's, 
it's so nice to be able to do this on a regular basis with your client and you will find the more you do it, the easier um, it becomes because it becomes, uh, what's the right word? I mean, you'll find that your residents will take to it easier the more you're doing it. So, you know, weekly is a great, you'll really find out a lot about your residents if you do this activity weekly. Um, you'll find out what they like to touch, what they like to do, how they like to express themselves uh, weekly. This is absolutely great for your residents. Um, so what you do, <clears throat> you let that dry and then the colours will soak in and then you peel it off. Um, so we'll do that after as we'll let those dry. Um, and again, with the, with the one we were adding a bit of a collage to earlier, um, it's, oh, it's just great to just experiment with it. You know, you can add paint at this stage if you wish. Um, I mean, people love glitter. Um, I do find in, in quite a few of my care homes, glitter goes down well. Um, but, you know, try and use the biodegradable. Or, but then, you know, this is another step from the glitter. It's nice to have bits of tissue paper and things like that instead of the glitter. Um, so we'll just pop a bit of that on there. So it's not, I'm just twisting and turning bits of tissue paper here. Um, and you know, it's again, like I've said, it's all about what your residents want to do and how they want to express themselves. And the more you do with this, oh, you'll, you'll really see the results. Um, everyone can be creative. Um, whether you're painting with your hands or however you want to paint, everyone can be creative. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to put a bit of white paint over the top here. And there we go. And there's our... Now, and I think just one more idea. We'll do a few... Um, 3D snowflakes here. So what you do is you just fold a few of your um, snowflakes up here, but do them all the same. So I folded it. I'll make sure you can see me. Right, I'm just gonna. So you probably want three or four. There. So I'm going to now, or, you know, I normally would probably use a glue gun, but again, I'm trying to make this accessible to, you know, some of you will have a glue gun, but some of you won't. So please just use a stapler. And again, you can, you know, do this after you've painted them. You know, you can redo some of those. And then we're just going to bring these together. I'm not doing the edges here because I think I'm going to mould those and just bring them out like that. Oh, excuse my my fridge. I'm about to so we're just pinching these out, and you know, like I said earlier, it's, it's teamwork. So, you know, you might find someone in your class that will do this for you. Do this part of the... I'm just going to show you that. I'm just going to push these out a bit. There you go. And then I think for this one, I would probably... Um, well, actually, it's better to put the string on before, on your first... Um, Snowflake. I'm just popping the cellar tape in there. Oops. I'm just going to put a little staples in there. Staples in your fingers. 
There you go. So yeah, you can paint that one first, or you might want to create them first and then with your sponge or your roller, because you can still mold those into sh into place afterwards. So, right, I think we've probably covered quite a bit there, and I hope just leave that one there now to hang up. So I think, yeah, I think we've covered quite a bit there and I hope that gives you some ideas um, to take into your care home. Um, I may just, let's see if these are dry. We'll just peel a few of these. Oh, there you go, that's come out nice. So I'm just taking the tissue paper off now and it's lovely when the colours all bleed together and oh, especially that bit there, that's a lovely effect. Um, so there we go, take all those bits off, difficult to see where they are. There we go, it's a bit of orange in there. Right, I think that's got to be. So you could, you could do that with three snowflakes and then, like we just did then, make them all 3D. So that's lovely. I like this come out nice. So let's have a look at the salt one we did. It probably needs... You can, you can just see that starting to be, you need to let it dry a little bit longer, I think, to give it a nice, to really bleach that colour out there. But that gives it a lovely snowflake effect. Just pop that there. Oh, I'm going to have a lot of tidying up to do after, aren't I? Right, let's have a look at this one. And again, you really got to let these, I would let them dry probably overnight, but again, that's a lovely effect there um, for your snowflakes. So yeah, you know, it's, I think it's about trying these in different stages and finding out what people want to do. You know, there is an art medium out there for everybody. Um, and it's just finding that right one and then, you know, encouraging everyone to join in and, and to create these wonderful pieces of art. Um, I will do a little display now and then we'll have a look at that at the end. Um, but thank you very much for joining us today and I hope you found it helpful. Um, and we love to see what you've created in your care home. So please do send us um, photos to pop on our website, onto our gallery. And I'm really excited about seeing all the wonderful work. So thank you very much for joining us. Right, so here we are with our uh, final display. So I've, I've popped them up here. I've, I've put two together in some places because obviously they're gonna go to twist so you can um, staple them together. I've popped some on the window, popped some at the front here. Um, and any heavier ones, you can just create a display uh, on the base of the window there. But, you know, try it, do what you can with your window. You can use um, some netting or ribbon. You can use pegs. There are all sorts of options to hang your snowflakes. You can pin them to curtains, whatever works best uh, for your window. Um, and again, obviously, involve your residents. Ask them where they'd like to position it and what works best because they can all, all watch you put it together. Uh, so thank you very much for joining us here today at Creative Mojo. And feel free to get in touch if you'd like to do any projects uh, in the future with us. It would be great to hear from you all. Thank you very much for watching. Okay, bye-bye. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.